We've talked about vibration, frequency, sound, the movement of objects several times. And when it comes to levitation, most people want to think of David Copperfield, something like that where a guy's going to lift up off the ground right in front of everybody and just sitting there floating, levitating from natural abilities. Well, outside of the natural abilities, in terms of science and trying to levitate things, we know that science and frequency play a big part in a lot of stuff. The monks today can lift objects with their instruments, large stones off the ground. By focusing their acoustic energy on those stones, they can levitate those massive blocks off the ground and move them into position. With this knowledge, you could construct anything. They have proven this. Now, what we've seen in terms of the scientific field here is them saying that there's been a major breakthrough in the tractor beam technology. They're saying that this acoustic tractor beam technology has been leveling up to a point to where they have now levitated pretty much the largest object they've ever been able to. And all they need is more acoustic power to be able to, to levitate a human. This is an example, a screenshot right here of what they've done with this. Now, some could say they're a long ways off. I say they already have it. Anytime they want to make mention of something like this, to me, it's a most likely just had a huge breakthrough uh, underground uh, where they were levitating humans or trucks or whatever else. And it's just that moment in time where it's time to start dropping the tidbits of information of what is to come in the offing, meaning this is already in the bag, is how I feel. I know they have these technologies. You have to think these guys are 20, 30, 40, 50 years in advance of what they tell the public. Okay, and these same technologies, I'm warning you, are going to be used to their advantage to fool the masses in the future. You want to talk about blue beam, you want to talk about a false invasion and turning everyone against the Almighty and bringing their Dajjal onto the scene and using these miracles and these wild wonders to fool everybody? Well, this is going down that rabbit hole. So... A pretty big breakthrough, though, in terms of moving things. Because if you think about it, if they can get this down and they can start moving larger objects, well, then they can then begin to start to try to construct things. And if we can start to maybe reconstruct a small pyramid with the same type of technology, vibration and frequency of honing in on one area and being able to move things, it can open the door to a lot. Now, not only could you build things, but you could probably destroy things. The walls of Jericho with sound. You see, what this does, as they explain, is it creates these small vortices of energy, of acoustic sound energy underneath of the object. And when they reverse this to try to stabilize it, they can lift the object. Very interesting stuff here, but... Once again, in the wrong hands, it can be utilized for some very deceptive things. But I wanted to make mention of it. I'll update if I hear of any more advances in this field. And until next time, it's been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.